from Los Angeles to a worldwide audience, this is Boaz Power TV, where we take your life to the next level. Now, internationally known speaker and author, here's Boaz. Hi, welcome to The Power Show. You are part of The Power Nation, and I'm so delighted that you're here, because here we help you improve your attitude, your relationships, your finances, and your career. This is episode number 141 on Boaz Power TV, and I call this one, Are They Building Houses or Character? On a flight back in 2004 to Atlanta for a speaking engagement, I noticed a group of young people on the plane that seemed to be together. Maybe it was the identical white t-shirts that stated Amor Ministries that gave me a clue. I'm sharp that way. While walking around the plane, my curiosity got the best of me and I asked one of them where they were going. He related that they had gone to Tecate, Mexico, I've been there, and built three houses for, for, for uh, poor families there. After a week in Tecate, they were now on their way back to Bright, Indiana. They introduced me to their leader, Kevin Smith. He's the student minister at Bright Christian Church in that Indiana community. Kevin explained to me that each of the 50 students involved had raised $600 to cover the cost of the trip and the materials for the houses, a total of $30,000. How industrious. The group took with them the prayers and the empowerment of over 1,200 loving members of their church family. According to Kevin, quote, we poured concrete slabs, built the walls, and completed the roofs. It was up to the new owners to finish the houses. Although small to the poor residents of Tecate, these, well these might as well have been castles. There were much more than they had before. And I've been to Tecate and I concur. This is the first time Kevin had led such a trip to Mexico. Although his church is active in missions, previous youth trips had been to locations in the United States. There were trips to Indianapolis and Boston for inner city work and to a small rural community in Mississippi. The group that was flying back from Tecate was composed, composed of high school kids ages 15 to 17. The students were accompanied by 18 adults. As Kevin explained to me, this was a summer program through Amor Ministries, an organization based in San Diego and one that is familiar with the Tecate area. Amor led the trip, provided the plans and the lumber which the kids had prepaid, a place for the participants to camp while they built the houses, and they designated who would receive the homes. Potential candidates had to own the land upon which a house would be built. Our entire group camped out in a rock quarry where we had to rake rocks out of the way in order to set up tents, stated Kevin to me. Our accommodations were primitive. We had portable bathrooms and stalls where everyone could use buckets of water to take a shower. We prepared all our own meals outdoors. Each one of the kids chose to participate in this mission. When the church started planning the trip a year ago, they promoted it through the congregation. Three separate teams were formed from the kids that raised the $600 each one needed to participate. Each team would build one house. Kevin related that the neighborhood in Tecate, where the group built the homes, is on a far lower economic scale than the Indiana community where his church exists. There, he says, most people live in shacks that are made of car tires and scrap pieces of wood. The houses were built, although unfinished on the inside with no plumbing or electricity, are still considered mansions by the new owners. These have real shingles, real wood studs, and real concrete, where before there were only dirt floors. Oh my. To these young people from the US, this was a great experience in physical labor and problem solving. These were challenging situations that they had to think on their feet. However, with the right spirit and a willingness to learn, they got all three houses completed early because they worked so well as teams. They even had time to stucco two additional homes since they had an extra day at the end of the trip, states Kevin. These mansions consisted of two rooms and total dimensions of 22 by 12 feet. 22 by 12 feet, about 264 square feet. On the first day of construction, the teams poured concrete pads by hand. No power tools were available. 
They took bags of concrete, mixed in sand, gravel, and water. I've done that, not easy. Day two consisted of framing each house, wrapping them in chicken wire, adding the roof, and applying stucco to the outside. The new owners were responsible for completing the inside with drywall, plumbing, and electricity. Some residents would later add interior walls and front porches. As Kevin related to me on that plane flight, we gave these people a head start. This will motivate them to make something of their new homes and to do more with their lives. In reality, the kids will get more out of this experience than the families who got the homes. They're taking this amazing experience with them forever. It has made them appreciate what they have back home. Thus, this unique mission was first intended for the purpose of building houses for people in Tecate, Mexico. In reality, it became a trip for building character in some wonderful teenagers from Bright, Indiana. How appropriate the name of the town. Here's an affirmation for this episode of Boaz Power TV. You may want to write it down. It's an affirmation for building character. And it states, I give my time and effort to a worthy cause because it does so much for others and for me. I give my time and effort to a worthy cause because it does so much for others and for me. Thank you for joining me. If you like these messages and many people around the world find them highly productive, please do me a favor, forward this to five people you know, suggest they go to my website. They can also subscribe to the free weekly broadcast on Boaz Power TV. And perhaps we can help them to also help some other people. Thank you again. You are special. You are unique. You are destined for greatness. I, I see it in you. You are a champion. Have a powerful day. This has been Boaz Power TV. To comment, see other episodes, or to subscribe to this free broadcast, go to our blog at boazpower.com. That's boazpower.com. We're here to take your life to the next level.